What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and California. My name is Michael and I make content about my life and travels here in California and beyond since moving from New York. And I woke up this morning on this Saturday and I kind of wanted to do a hike in one of my favorite spots here at Runyon Canyon, which is in the Hollywood area pretty far from where I live on the west side here in LA. And I didn't really want to deal with the traffic or the parking, because last time I went to Runyon, I got a $60 parking ticket. So it essentially cost me 60 bucks to hike a free public trail. So I kind of came up with this idea of, what if I took the LA Metro all the way over to the Hollywood East Side area from where I am right now in Santa Monica? As an original New Yorker and someone who has been taking the New York subways for a total of 10 years before I moved here, I'm pretty city savvy and very familiar with how the New York trains work. I can pretty much get anywhere without looking at a map over there. Can I do the same here in LA? I don't know. So I want to set on a challenge today to see if I can make it from downtown Santa Monica all the way to Hollywood. Can a New Yorker figure it out? Let's find out. Is that what it's called, the expo station? Like, I would have had no idea. Honestly, this train station is not easy to find. It's not like there are signs everywhere directing you in the right spot. I had to use Google Maps to get me to the metro station. I guess I didn't realize it would be above ground over here. We'll see where this takes us. All right, so let's see how this works. Buy a tap card, I guess is what they call it. Um, I think I'll do a one-way trip. So it's $175 and the tap fee to get a new card is $2. Okay, we're starting from here. We're gonna go all the way. survived my first LA metro trip. It took about a half hour from Santa Monica to where I am in downtown LA. And that was the last stop, so I have to figure out how to transfer to get to Hollywood. I have no idea where I am right now, but I figure I'll take a little detour. Okay, so I guess that train wasn't going to its usual stop at 7th Street Metro Center Station. So it's a mile and a half walk all the way there. I gotta figure out a different way to get there. I think I can probably take the bus, but I'm not really about that right now. What about a little bike ride over here? 175 every 30 minutes. Screw it, I'm gonna do it. Let's go for a bike ride. Okay, off we go. So where am I going? I'm gonna say it already, getting around LA, this public transit is not easy. All right, I think this is the right direction. This is not riding at the beach. I'm like fully riding in the city of LA over here against all these cars. This is, ah! <laughs> there is the downtown LA skyline. Eh, nothing special over here. <laughs> All right, where are we? Figueroa, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, we're right near the Staples Center. There it is, the famous Staples Center. Okay, not that one. And there it is, guys, the real Staples Center, home of the LA Lakers. Oh, it is hotter in downtown LA. I am dying. <laughs> down here, lots of honking, all that good city stuff. All right, we almost made it. Where is this subway station or metro station? Whatever they call it here, can't find it. 
Oh, there it is. Guess I can drop off my bike right here. So long, buddy. Okay, we are here and we are going to go to Hollywood and Highland. Let's see if my transfer is still here. Oh no. Guess I gotta buy another one. I don't think it's been two hours. I thought I had two hours to transfer. Okay, now we're going. Let's hope this works. Yay! This is more like New York. is, you know, tourism, but I honestly never expected to come back here. Oh my God, I am already so tired. This is such a trek. It's another 15 minute walk from the train station to Runyon Canyon. Like, who needs to do a hike at this point? I'm beat. Oh. It also takes forever waiting to cross the street over here. LA definitely favors car culture and driving, not the pedestrians and the metro. Let's go! Okay, I made it to Fuller Ave, which is where the entrance to Runyon begins. Okay, so I did it. I made it to my hike at Runyon Canyon Park, not realizing that my real hike for the day would be getting here. It is now two and a half hours from when I started in Santa Monica on the Metro. I got on the train at one o'clock and it is now 3.30. I guess that's okay because it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, right? If only the journey wasn't so chaotic. But look at this view, it kind of made it all worth it. And what are my thoughts on the LA Metro? Obviously, it did get me here from the Pacific Ocean all the way to the east side at Runyon Canyon Park. However, kind of barely because I had to transfer to a Metro bike and bike to my next station. So a little bit inconvenient there. I think it might've been like a weekend or maintenance thing where it didn't directly connect. So the city of Los Angeles is investing, I believe 10 billion in the next few years to extending and expanding the Metro to better connect the west side to the east side and make things here just a little bit more convenient. One day in LA, maybe you won't need a car, but for now, I'm gonna stick to it. I got here for a total of $3.50, which probably would have been more between gas and parking's free, but if I got a parking ticket, would have been 60 to 100 bucks. Wow, there's downtown LA, right where I just came from on the bike. I look super far away. I guess when you're underground, you don't realize how fast and far you're going. Can I see the Pacific Ocean? I don't think so. It's probably just too smoggy right now. Honestly, I don't think I can do this full hike right now in the entire loop because <laughs> that was a two and a half hour trek itself. So let me be. 
yeah, I can't do this full hike right now. I'm getting back <laughs> and absolutely dreading taking the metro. Should I just take an Uber? <laughs> I might. And it feels so good to be back in my car 